What's interesting is that uh, there was a huge satanic ritual uh, that was uh, performed on the very spot where Area 51 happened uh, really? by this uh, Jack Parsons, yeah, and in which they had this mag magical ceremony called Babylon Working, and it was designed by Aleister Crowley, who was a Satanist who called himself the B666. Yes. And the, the purpose of this series of magical ceremonies, which was performed on the spot of Area 51, uh, where it's now located, was to unseal an interdimensional gateway, they said. And so and this, they hoped, would allow other entities known as the, quote, old ones, access to our space-time uh, continuum. And this witness said that he saw Jack Parsons rip a hole in space-time there, and he said that something evil flew in. And one other interesting point is that Aleister Crowley, who was a Satanist, who called himself the B-666, as I just mentioned, he claimed to have contact with some kind of alien um, named Lamb. And this Lamb, he drew a picture of this, this alien that he was in contact receiving messages from this being. And the, the, pictures, the picture that he drew of this alien, uh, it's a striking resemblance to the common gray E.T. drawing. And obviously they have the secret base there where advanced aircraft is being tested. And so it's not one or the other, it's actually both. And what's interesting is this fellow Jack Parsons, who was the main person involved in the satanic ritual, he was involved in creating some of the most advanced technological uh, stuff that we have right now in rocket propulsion systems. Um, he was even involved with a lot of the stuff that NASA does. They even named a crater on the moon. It's called the Parsons Crater. It was named after Jack Parsons. Right. right. So you see the, all the connections here. You know, I've long believed that if there is...